Hey everybody and welcome to this episode of the Tushar show. And uh, as you know it's rocking and rolling. The Tushar show is rocking and rolling. By the way we have also we also are on YouTube and uh, you can you can search for the Tushar show Helen the Wanderluster on YouTube. and uh, you can find this episode on youtube too we are also on spotify soundcloud castbox and uh, all the other major podcasting platforms a few of those links will be pasted below so definitely check it out over there and uh, this is going to be a four part podcast so helen and me since it was one hour long i decided to distribute it among 15 15 minute podcasts each and uh, i mean each each segment is very beautifully covered and helen is very very generous with her time and she kind of explains about her country she's from peru lima and uh, lima is almost like the antipole of bangalore where i'm staying so it 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 is like almost the opposite side of the world because i'm in the i'm a little towards the north of the equator and she's like a little towards the south of the equator and if we compare like if i drill a hole through bang from bangalore to uh to the other end of the world i mean i'll come out in an ocean near south america so it's somewhere near her uh hometown and uh yeah i was speak it was really fascinating to speak with someone who's at the other end of the world and we are blessed to kind of be able to do that in this day and time and you're going to hear the podcast with her and that's what's going to be coming up don't forget to follow me on instagram at the rate your underscore local underscore podcaster and uh yeah you can follow helen at at the rate global wonder luster global wonder luster that will be helen kulki from peru lima streaming just for you hey my friends and welcome to the good vibes podcast today we have another very special guest for you her name is helen Kulki from Lima, Peru. We've got her all the way from the southern hemisphere and uh, she lives in Lima uh in Peru. Peru is a country which is located near the equator and uh it it's very famous for its love for football. Right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, very famous for its love for football. And Helen is a global wand- wanderluster. That is a term for a person who loves to travel play- uh, to places and is waiting to travel to more places. They can't wait to travel to the next place. And uh, she has a travel blog called Global Wanderluster and an Instagram page called Global Wanderluster. in which you can check out she's traveled to more than 80 countries and that that is a huge number there around 193 countries how many countries are there helen do you know that 90 countries more 1 190 i i was saying 193 around oh. 193 because in in some atlases 90. it's 193 in some atlases it's 200 something but i think it's roughly uh more than 190 countries it kind of country just yes. yeah yes because the around during the past a uh, century the country some countries separated and they changed names right and right and more countries are emerging <laughs> right 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 so let's keep it as uh, 190s countries plus are present in the world but uh, you've yeah. traveled to 80 of them you've almost reached like halfway i think you've crossed halfway uh half of 190 would be around 85 so you're almost reaching half halfway mark of most of the countries in the world 
So <laughs> almost. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations for that. And uh, thank you. She wants to inspire people to travel, no matter what is going on in their life. She's. Uh, we just had a fifty-six minute conversation about Peru and traveling. and the football culture over there and the places to visit in peru and the culture of peru the animals of peru and it was such a lot of fun talking with helen i learned i learned much much more than i would have learned in a geography class in school and i'm feeling very grateful that she was able to give me so much of her time and uh, patiently explain me about the culture and patiently take me through what she's doing and how how things work over there so i really appreciate you helen and uh well, an official hello from the good vibes community to you we love having you as a guest and so this is the official hi you can say hi to the community now Hello Wonder Masters how are you doing <laughs> Yes <laughs> you should uh, you, you could say hello good vibers or yeah hello good vibers Hello good vibers Yes this is the global wonder master Yes oh, nice to meet you all <laughs> Yes that's it that's it that's the spirit and uh, it was wonderful talking with you Helen So uh, let's get on with let's get on with uh i i think you lead you lead the conversation from here where do you want to start what do you want to start talking about oh oh how my wanderlust for oh, when wanderlust came to my life <laughs> right 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 so uh you told me that when you were a child your mother uh showed you an atlas or she showed you books in which you saw flags of many different countries yes. and soon later you got very uh, affluent with uh, i don't know whether affluent is the right word but you got very good at recognizing which country and you got very good at recognizing which flag is of which country yes and that's where your curiosity about countries began am i right Yes, that's, yes, about the world countries, and and what? And then countries, right? I could, I had a, the strong curiosity about the world, the countries. Okay, the and wars. And also when I the wars, yes, the wars. when I, yeah. and also the war when I heard the news about the uh, news from overseas, I I I heard the. Uh, the journalist the presenter is talking about certain countries and i had a curiosity right what are those countries located oh okay what they what are they what are they were hiding <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> whether they were hiding from you yes while well, what are they hiding from me what what they have to offer <laughs> okay what they are known what the language understood yeah. understood you were very curious about their culture Yes. Okay. And what did you do? Did you ask your mother about this? Did you how did you uh, dig further? How did you dig deeper? How did I get deeper? When I how did I get deeper about the countries when I was at the secondary school? Okay. That's when when the, our geography teacher told us uh, drop the maps on the blackboard. Okay. And then he mentioned this is Peru, this is Spain, this is India. Oh. <laughs> These are the rivers. <laughs> Thank and you for mentioning repeated. India. Yeah, yeah. Keep going. And we repeat, yes, we repeated uh repeat after me India, India everybody said. <laughs> Ganges River, Ganges River. Okay. Okay. Right, right. I uh, remember also the the capital cities. I used to draw so the maps as well. Okay, so you were, you I think you like me, uh, enjoyed geography a lot. Yes, and I got uh, I got good records on exams. Okay, <laughs> I you, were, exams. you got good grades in those exams too. Yes. Awesome, 
and uh, you had then you told me that your first f- flight was from lima which is the capital of your country peru to chachapoyas definitely yes nice intonation <laughs> yes thank you this was in 1989 when you were 9 years old yes so how was the experience and why did it stick out to you why 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 were you so amazed by it i was amazed because of the speed of the plane mm-hmm. the also because as a passenger i was pampered i I was pampered by the flight attendant. Okay. <laughs> I was by them. <laughs> because, because you were I so was, small. Uh, yes, I was so small and uh, the fact that I was traveling with 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 my mother's friend. Okay. I was an a non accompanied man minor. Uh-huh. I was a spoiled like a kid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no wonder. So you have very good associations with your first travel and traveling in general and, yes, and uh, i was I mean, so that, i remember that yeah. i was watching the wind of the skies and that's what amazed me wow so you saw clouds or was it a clear sky i saw clouds also the the farms mm-hmm. from the top mm-hmm. and i felt i felt that my feet were flying right my feet were flying right when i was at the plane <laughs> right right so that one and a half hour flight was when you officially began your journey as a global wander luster yes i didn't notice that but years later that's what i realized that the, the wanderlust came to my life right that that day mm-hmm. in 1989 wow mm-hmm. you also have a bachelor's in the administration of tourism yes and uh, with this degree you did your first job uh, uh, if uh, correct me if i'm wrong uh, your first job uh, and you worked in a cruise ship uh actually i was uh, i did uh, some trainees mm-hmm. during my career as tour guide and also i worked on tour with tour operators mm-hmm. travel agencies mm-hmm. and then the the cruise ship came to my life as an opportunity okay okay and then you boarded so the cruise ship yes and let's say that i have a pretty good job experience okay <laughs> <laughs> okay cool so you boarded the cruise ship and went to nine different countries because of the cruise ship and yes. here's where or uh, you could say that if you if you look back you say that your journey as a wanderlust uh, as a global wanderlust began when you were 9 years old but it officially began now when you boarded the cruise ship yes it, it became when i when i have gained the cruise ship experience as right. well i came the global wanderlust right right so you're you're in your 30s and you've traveled 80 countries that is i think more than 70 80 um, that's more than 90% of what the world will do in the lifetime <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay and uh, you speak three languages spanish english and a uh, french a little bit of italian and uh, yep i think that's that's a good introduction about you but your main message is you want to inspire and Uh, motivate people to travel no matter what is going on in their life yes because sometimes when we when you when we have issues mm-hmm. uh issues any kind of issues even emotional mm-hmm. uh, that's when we feel discouraged mm-hmm. and we feel affected because of those external issues right for example you lose a job you have issues with your family right like, and then and that's where depression and anxiety comes to you right. and you don't know what to do some people take wrong choices mm-hmm. um and therefore in order to to take a chance with your life to move forward you need to heal first right. emotionally right right and once you are healed 
you make decisions such as getting a good job or having a well deserved vacation right right so uh, you say that traveling helps us do that yes to traveling helps to see us heal the... traveling helps us heal uh actually uh well traveling helps people to see the world mm-hmm. to re- to relax their mind right because um because when i was uh, when i work as a travel agent i have deal with different clients mm-hmm. and s- most of them came to me to see tour packages for europe mm-hmm. and most of, the, of those people were my mid age people mm-hmm. who they had never been abroad because they had to raise their children right they had to work hard so there is a moment in their lives when their children are adults right. are studying at the university right. have some decent jobs right. and that's when they come to you and say I want to travel to Europe right what can you go for me Helen right right and then they tell me their stories and right. they and they say that they want to see the world they want to celebrate their wedding anniversary <laughs> so in the lux for example so beautiful Yes. yes, and and there is and that's where I help people. Okay. And, and so you you them. try to help people personally too, not just as a part of your job. Yes, as a as part of my of my own experience, not not only a job, but it's also part of life. As you like, you help your best friends. Right, right. So this is this is something I find very beautiful about you. You're you you're, you're genuinely trying to. give your customer or client the best experience for them yes that's that's your sole and purpose when, that's your aim yes and when during that time of, of my agent is a moment uh, when i come back to me mm-hmm. to the office they said hey and we enjoyed the europe so much thank you very much oh yeah But we love the peru <laughs> 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 yes home food like you miss it after you uh, go uh, you go abroad for a while no you didn't uh, mention some peruvian delicacies to me ooh what a way to end the podcast so this clip from the whole podcast was about how she became a global wanderlust how the passion and drive for traveling really came from within her and uh, she also shared about how she runs a business of tours and travels and helps people enjoy their vacations and uh, people come and tell her stories about how they enjoy their vacations and she feels that was her calling and in the next podcast episodes we are going to talk deep dive into the culture and the food and delicacies of peru so i want to meet you over there and uh, you can again follow her on her instagram page global wonder luster helen kulki h e l e n c u l q u i and her website is h e uh, her website is globalwanderluster.com my website is thetushashow.com and you can find this podcast you can find the show notes of this podcast on my page too also i have a patreon account and uh, patreon is uh is is a website where you can come and give me some donations and i have opened donation slots for $1 and $2 so if you are in india that's that comes to around 70 rupees per month and uh, it just shows that you're supporting this podcast and you're going to be giving 70 rupees per month for this podcast because you know a podcast is something that we are paying uh internationally and i mean it is costing us out of our pockets and i would like to become independent with the uh with the financial aspects of my podcast uh right now my father is funding the entire thing and i want to start bringing it upon myself so i would really be very very grateful if you could go and give in some donations over there and there of course a lot of benefits for being a patron because uh some episodes are going to be only special episodes for patrons like in this four part episode 
part number three is going to be launched for patrons only. And uh, even though I may release it in the future for the public, but for now, part number three is going to be a private patron special podcast. And I really hope you catch it over there. Just wanted to update you about this news. I hope you enjoy the rest of the series and I wish you all very well. See you until next time.